Hey everybody, Zach Palmer here with Fitness Gear and Training. I want to start off by explaining why you guys haven't heard much from me over the last few weeks and, and apologize. Um, some of you know, most of you don't. My fiance was admitted to the hospital several weeks ago. She was there the better part of 10 days and she ended up on a ventilator. No, it was not COVID related, but it was equally as scary nonetheless. Um, in short, basically what happened is she went in with a urinary tract infection. They found kidney stones. The kidney stones blocked her urinary tract which created sepsis and she went into respiratory failure and she nearly nearly lost her life. She barely made it out of the hospital, but thankfully she's back home with us now. Um, but that has, you know, in that moment, the world stopped, you know, nothing else mattered. I was at home. I couldn't think I couldn't process. I was completely focused on the kids and Michelle and wondering if I was going to get to see her again. I couldn't visit her in the hospital and it's been a, it's been a process getting back to normal, uh, creating new habits, trying to get back in the swing of things at work. And I had it in my head that the, the trainers were reaching out to you guys and, and communicating with you. And for some reason, it just didn't click with me that you might want to hear from me as well. So I'm reaching out. I wanted to offer that explanation and tell you all that I miss you. I apologize for not communicating more often and more frequently. That is why I'm reestablishing new habits, a new pattern, a new plan so you guys can expect to hear from me more regularly and uh, get some more updates as to what's going on. Um, obviously, I'm due for a haircut, as I imagine many of you guys are, so don't mind the uh, mad scientist look that I got going on. I also want to let you guys know the trainers are so excited to see all of you guys back when we finally get the opportunity to reopen. I'm confident that it's going to be sometime here in the next three to six weeks, but Time will tell. We'll wait and see. But every day that goes by is a day closer to seeing your smiling faces again. Uh, we're all getting together on a, on a, a semi-weekly basis or actually twice a week, twice weekly basis. So Jessica, Cheyenne, Caitlin, Clover, Meredith, everybody is super excited to see you guys back at the shop. Uh, we've got some ex exciting changes that are coming to the program. So as you guys probably expect or anticipated, 30 Minute Lift is not going to run in the exact same format that it has before. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff from a preventative standpoint to make sure that there's extra cleaning. We're going to have a cleaning station outside. Um, may, we'll be making some other uh, ongoing recommendations and um, accommodations basically to be really extra mindful and vigilant as everything pertains to the virus in its current state. Um, the, the, the changes that we're going to be making in the program, we're actually super excited about. It's going to be a little bit different, a little bit of the same. I'm not going to go into the details now. Just stay tuned and, and uh, I hope you're excited and, and uh, um, optimistic about coming back. I know we all are. Um, other than that, I just want to touch base, explain everything that's been going on. I know I'm sure this has been hard for all of you. Uh, maybe some of you have had loved ones in the hospital for one reason or another, and you know that you, know, you couldn't visit them regardless of the situation. It was really tough. Uh, my little brother just welcomed his second baby to the world last week, and thank God he was able to be in the waiting room or the delivery room with his, his wife and my sister-in-law. Um, but for now, we're all stuck at home. We've got a new norm. We've got new habits. And if you have not maintained your healthy habits, I imagine many of you have not. And that's not an insult. I just know that myself, I've been through the exact same thing. It has been a challenge. My mother-in-law is home with us right now. I call her my mother-in-law. We're not married yet, but close enough. You know, they're Italian. She loves to bake. My house is full of crap. I love my mother-in-law to death. But if there's one challenge that I have, it's all the food that I don't want to put in my body in the house. And there was a period of time where I felt like absolute shit, just being candid with you guys. So take the time to analyze what's been working and what hasn't. Get rid of the bad habits that you've developed and reinstitute the ones that you need to to get back to your true health again. Make those micro changes to your, your diet and nutrition. Make sure that you're staying active. Leverage the trainers for the programs and resources that they are providing and making available to you guys. And reestablish habits that serve you, your goal, your potential and outcomes well for the long term. I'm Zach Palmer. I love and miss you guys dearly. I cannot wait to open our doors back up for training. If you need equipment, we're still open and moving equipment. Um, I'm really, really optimistic about things that are going to be happening. You know, it's going to be a new world, but we'll change and adapt. That's what we do. Uh, I hope and uh, look forward to seeing you guys all soon.